Living to 100 doesn't have to mean a strict regimen of steamed vegetables and joyless meals. A healthy, balanced, and stress-free life includes happy hours, time spent with family and friends and the occasional glass of wine with delicious dinners. You can consume alcohol and live to a happy 100, even up to one drink daily for women, two for men. We know from Blue Zone centenarians that this is true, people in four original Blue Zones areas drink alcohol moderately and regularly. The trick is to drink one to two glasses per day with friends and or with food here as some of the research and studies that give us a better understanding of how wine can help lead to a longer lifespan. Sardinians are famous for their daily consumption of the robust, regional red wine called Cananao. Cananao wine has two to three times the level of artery-scrubbing flavonoids as other wines. Small doses of this antioxidant-rich beverage throughout the day could explain fewer heart attacks and lower levels of stress among men in this region of the world. Another reason Sardinians may experience these wine health benefits is the way they consume it, always surrounded by good friends and good food. If you're unable to find Cananao at your local market, dry red wines in general offer similar health advantages. Cananao is the Sardinian name for the red wine grape known elsewhere as Grenache wine in moderation has been shown to be beneficial if consumed as part of a Mediterranean diet, which is defined by a high consumption of beans, greens, nuts, olive oil, and whole grains and a low consumption of meat and processed foods. This means that wine, as part of a healthy diet and lifestyle, can be beneficial to your health. It does not mean that wine will somehow cancel out the negative effects of a poor diet, high in processed foods and saturated fat. Consuming wine alongside a meal can help the body absorb more of the flavonoids, the artery-scrubbing antioxidants, from the food eaten with it. Among many others, this recent study published in Advances in Nutrition showed that consumption of wine as part of a Mediterranean-style diet could reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and some cancers, perhaps helped by the anti-estrogens found in extra virgin olive oil. Moderate wine drinking and regular exercise is a combination that can be protective against cardiovascular disease. Resveratrol, the polyphenol found in the skin of grapes, is known to protect the body against damage that puts it at higher risk for cancer, heart disease, and dementia. According to a study by Philippe Marimbo, Ph.D., a senior research scientist at New York's Litwin Zucker Research Center for the Study of Alzheimer's Disease and Memory Disorders, this compound can combat the formation of the plaque that is found in the brains of dementia patients. Besides these more focused studies above, other research backs up the link between wine intake and a reduction in all-cause mortality. Moderate alcohol consumption, especially with meals and friends, could help you not only distress and loosen up, but also live longer.